Today I want to talk to you about the importance of leak checking any type of um, pump you're using with uh, detector tubes before using. So just the reason why is these tubes, uh, you take them, you crack either end and then you put them into one of these pumps and you pull a known volume of air through the tube, maybe one stroke or multiple strokes depending on the instructions, and then the, um, the tube will change color and give you a measurement. So it's very important that the volume that goes through here is correct. If for some reason you don't put the right volume, say if you put a, a, a less amount of volume through this, then there's less air to react with a chemical and you'll end up with a, a lower reading. And really there's no magic with these pumps. You know, inside this one, if I open it up, we just have, you know, this piston in here that when pulled, um, you know, and this one can either do 100 mils or 50 mils, depending on what side you, you line this up with. So there's a, a dragger pump, the gas tech pump, and this is an old MSA. So first, let's um, really the two I want to look at mostly are the dragger and the gas tech. So let's look at the instruction sheets. Let's first. look at the manual for the dragger Acro 2000 pump. So they have some instructions here on how to use the pump. Before you start taking any measurements, you'd want to look at the pump leak check instructions. So we insert a dragger tube into the socket, squeeze the pump completely and release. The pump is leak proof if the end of stroke indicator does not appear after 15 minutes. If it does appear, then I guess you look at fault cause and remedies in the manual. Uh, if it doesn't, then you remove the dragger tube and then you can go on and take your, uh, your sample. Now let's look at the manual for the gas tech pumps. There's two models. One has a counter and one doesn't have a counter, a stroke counter basically. So if I go to checking the pump for air tightness or a leak check, we want to make sure the inlet clamping nut is firmly tightened so the top part of the pump or the or where the tube goes in put an unbroken tube into the pump you line up the 100 uh, 100 cc mark uh, with the line and then pull out the pump Let's look at the next page here so yeah so you're lining up the red line you're pulling it out and you wait for one minute so you the leak check takes one minute and then you twist the handle of the pump to release it like a quarter turn and then you see here at the bottom that if the uh, if it goes all the way back in then you know there was no leak and if there was any leak you'll actually see how much it leaked if it if the plunger doesn't go all the way in basically okay let's start with the dragger pump first first you take a tube put it in to the pump firmly and then you can see this end of stroke indicator is white right now when I, hopefully the camera is catching that. When I compress this, that is going to go away and I start a 15 minute timer. The, uh, so let's start, let's do the gas tech pump now. So you would make sure this is tight, make sure this is all tight because I had this apart earlier. And I take the tube unbroken again, just like in the, the dragger pump. And I line the 100 mils up with the 100 uh, mark on here, the red mark, and I pull this. Okay. And I'll start that timer. So these leak checks should be done at the first of the day to ensure you're pulling the correct volume of air through the tubes, but also you know, if you're out there and you're sampling and you get a strange reading, and this happens, I'm sure, quite a bit, where someone pulls a tube and other people question if that value is right or not, then it doesn't hurt to do a leak check on the pump again to make sure nothing has changed with the pump and, uh, and retest it. So again, we've looked at the manual. The, the gas tech pump says you can do this leak check in one minute. Uh, the dragger pump in their manual says it takes 15 minutes and there must be a reason why they they say 15 minutes so right now we're coming down on the last couple of seconds on the leak check of the gas tech pump 
So what we do now is I'll start my stop my alarm there. Just take this and twist it a quarter turn. It releases, and if it goes all the way back in, if there's no gap in here, you know that there was no leak, so you can start doing your sampling now. We still have about 13 minutes to wait for the gas tech pump to be done leak testing, so I just wonder in real life if people practically, you know, would actually practically do this. So, anyway, you can, I'll probably stop the video now because I don't really want to go for another 12 minutes. So the 15 minutes is up and I know that things are good with this pump because the, the um, indicator, the little white uh, end of stroke indicator didn't appear. So I'll just simulate if there was a leak in this pump. Hopefully you'll be able to see it on the video. So to see how that little indicator shows up. So if there was a leak in either of these pumps, so if, if this didn't go all the way back, or if this didn't go all the way back in, there, there's a way to repair the seals and stuff on this pump. And the same thing in here, I would uh, look at the manual and look into repairing any of the, the parts that might be leaking on this.